YouTube, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing my 2021 updated setup tour. Now I did one earlier this year but I've upgraded a lot since then, so yeah. Also if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe, let's roll the montage. Alright, so in the first part of my room, you come to this table, which has some keycaps in two jars. And here you have my Davoom Pixu, which isn't charged right now. Also, hello. And then over here, we have my light. This is basically just a lamp. It's a smart lamp that I just have on this color. Now, over here, we have my LED strips and my pegboard. Behind this couch over here, I have some addressable LED strips, which I control through an app on my phone. And over here we have my pegboard from Ikea, which has a fake plant on it that's dangling down, which I think looks insane. My old, old mouse pad, my headphones that I use from time to time. These three keyboards, first one is an Apple keyboard. This is my old keyboard, which I customized a bit. And my first ever keyboard with blue switches is the HyperX Alloy FPS Pro. Up here we have a jar that has all of my keyboard building supplies, like these brushes, all of these keycap pullers and switch pullers. Getting closer to my setup, you can see my looping station up here on this small mini shelf and this gutsy Aiden mouse pad wrapper with a frame. Don't ask me why I put this up here, but I just thought it would look insane. Now here we have another one of these stands with my GoPro Hero 7 black on it. Now I use this sometimes for like vlogging, TikTok, stuff like that. So yeah, I just have it up here so that it's easily accessible. Now for the setup, as you guys saw in the first clip, this setup has changed so much. From a new mouse pad, monitor orientation, some more like accessories like my custom keyboard, uh, my Alexa over here, plant. Uh, PC hasn't changed a lot, but yeah. Basically the first thing we have is my desk. This is an Ekbakken countertop from Ikea with two Adilis legs and something that is not Ikea, but is just a drawer that looks insane on this desk. And over here I have another fake plant. As you guys can see, I love fake plants a lot. And yeah, I think they just make your setup look insane. And here we have my low gutsy Aiden mouse pad. Now I got this recently and so far I have been loving it. It is the swirl and collaboration with low. This is how it looks in my setup. It is huge, quality is insane. Stitch edging is insane and yeah. But on this mouse pad, I do have my custom keyboard. Which isn't really built properly. I didn't really loop the stabilizers very well. But I am thinking of redoing that soon. Let me know if you guys want a YouTube video on me redoing this keyboard. Over here we have my Razer Viper Ultimate. And now this I got a couple of months ago. And if you guys saw my TikTok, I made a review about this a couple of days ago. And it is insane. By the way... If you guys want to check out my TikTok, just go to the link in the description. I post content there almost daily and yeah, let's get back to the video. Sitting on my mouse pad, I do have my Razer Viper Ultimate Dock and right now the RGB is on purple. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Over here is my DIY stream deck. Now this I basically made with Lego, my old phone and Touch Portal, which is an app that you can make a stream deck out of. I did have a bit on this in my last video, but yeah, I can basically like mute and unmute my mic and streams and stuff like that. For my audio, I am rocking the Fifine T669, I'm pretty sure, with the kit boom arm, kit shock mounts and everything. I think it is insane as it comes with everything, but soon I will be upgrading. Basically, I did order a GoXLR Mini and some DT990s Pro to upgrade my audio setup, but for now, I don't have an audio interface or some headphones. But after that, I'm thinking of getting the Shure MV7 to upgrade my audio setup and have it all done. Over here for my hand cam, I do have the Logitech C920. Now this is insane as an hand cam, but for a webcam, I do use my camera that I'm recording with right now. And I have it on a tripod right here, and that is the Canon M50 Mark II, which I highly recommend if you are starting out streaming and content creation. Over here, I have two Dell monitors. The first one is right here. I have the link in the description. I don't know exactly what it is and what the type is, but yeah, it'll be in the description. And the second one is also over here. Now, this one is 60 hertz, this one's 120 hertz, but this one has some big bezels and I'm not really a gamer gamer. Uh, so yeah, I have this one over here and this one over there, so it looks a bit better. In the middle, I have no gap and if you guys wanna know exactly why I have a video on that, 
that I posted and I'm pretty sure it will be up here. Over here I have a small phone mount that is mounted in the back here where basically I put my phone while I'm gaming or streaming so I can just read some notifications and stuff like that. Right here is the Amazon Echo or the Alexa. Now this is insane, I can do so much stuff from calling people, playing music, playing YouTube videos and watching Twitch. Now I highly recommend this if you do want a smart like companion or like an Alexa or Google. This is insane for the price and yeah. Back here another fake plant to cover all the wires behind in my PC even though they are routed pretty good. Talking about my PC, it hasn't changed. Basically, I'm thinking of upgrading this to the O11 Dynamic as a case and getting some Corsair or Lee and Lee fans to put on top, on the side, over there, and under on my new case. Up here, I have these like foam panels that came in a package. I just needed to fill up this wall for a bit, but yeah, I, I should be changing those to like some sort of painting or wall art or something like that soon, but yeah, they're just there for now to fill up the space. I also forgot to mention that I have these Logitech speakers, which are pretty good, but I don't recommend them as they make some weird sounds sometimes. And for the LEDs behind my monitor, I have some Govi LED strips. Now, these I highly recommend. They come with an app and a remote that you can control them with, and I have them all around my desk, and I have some other LED strips which I got a while ago back here. These are gonna be changed to like a blue or purple color soon but yeah. In these drawers right here they are so messy and I just have some random stuff inside them that I use on a day-to-day -day basis like some cables, cable management stuff, tape and just headphones and stuff like that. But yeah that is it for the main setup. Let's just go back to my background of my stream. This background hasn't really changed a lot except I did cable manage decently the bottom of this and if you guys want to check out the video click the top left again so basically over here I have this Hollywood sign with this uh, lightning bolt neon sign that I got off Amazon for really cheap and I really recommend it if you are starting out like setup maker and you're just building your setup this adds so much spice to your setup and it is insanely cheap over here I have my old PS4 controller which I do use on my PC when I actually want to play some controller games and yeah this is my galaxy projector now it basically makes my wall look like it's a galaxy and I think it's insane I got it for about like $20 and it makes a lot of light now this area is where I put all of my remotes like my galaxy projector all of my LED strip remotes and everything like that also a wireless charger which I do need to plug in soon over here I have this floodlight which basically makes a nice background for my stream I got this in a two-pack and I have the second one behind my PC over there now this can make a huge difference and I got it for about $30 with a two-pack that is app controlled and is insane and back here is the exact same I have my ring light some plants and I actually added this lamp over here. But yeah, that is basically my setup.